More bad news for people who like taking NMN supplements, iHerb, the very popular website for buying a variety of dietary supplements, has stopped selling NMN supplements. And if you're not familiar with this saga, NMN is short for nicotinamide mononucleotide. It's a very popular anti-aging supplement which is touted to raise NAD levels inside of our cells. NAD being nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. This is an energy molecule that we appear to make less of as we grow older and so replenishing NAD levels according to some experts like for instance Dr. David Sinclair may be one way to slow down and maybe even reverse the aging process. And while NMN supplements have been popular for a number of years, mostly due to Dr. David Sinclair, who's been a very big outspoken proponent of NMN supplementation, the FDA a couple years ago started to clamp down on companies that were selling NMN supplements. And this is because the FDA claimed that NMN had originally been tested as a new investigational drug. And because the drug research appears to predate the dietary supplement use, that's why companies are starting to pull back on their selling of NMN supplements because you can't have a drug being sold as a supplement. Although N-acetylcysteine, which is a really popular antioxidant supplement, was also originally a drug itself. So I'm not quite sure how long this banning of NMN is going to last. And one interesting sidebar that I thought was kind of humorous is that Chromadex is another dietary supplement company and they are siding with the FDA saying the FDA made the right decision in holding back the ability of companies to sell NMN as a supplement. Chromadex makes nicotinamide riboside which is another supplement that raises NAD levels. So in other words they're kind of competitors and that's why I thought that it was humorous that Chromadex was siding with the FDA. However if NMN is ultimately thought to be a drug and approved as a prescription medication, what might that mean for the future of nicotinamide riboside, which essentially does the same thing? As a matter of fact, when you take NMN supplements, it often gets converted into nicotinamide riboside before it can gain entry into the cells. However, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I will also point out that it does appear that Walmart is also poised to stop selling NMN supplements as well. Now I bring all this up because I know NMN is really popular in the anti-aging world, and I know a lot of people want to keep their finger on the pulse of what's going on with all this. However, I will say that from the get-go, I've been pretty skeptical of the NMN research for a number of reasons. I've done multiple videos on it. I personally don't think it's cracked up to be everything that people say it is, and maybe I'm just jaded, but I've seen this story before about supposed anti-aging cures out there. I remember Xeratrol when it was really popular. I remember DHEA when it was also touted to be the fountain of youth. And so maybe that is something in the back of my mind. Now, all that said, if you want to save money on NMN supplements or any other NAD booster supplements, you have the ability to do this right now because there is something out there right now that is free that will also raise cellular NAD levels and give you an awful lot of other benefits as well. It'll improve depression, it'll build your muscle strength, it'll improve your cardiovascular ability, it, it'll increase your lifespan and your health span. What is that supplement? It's exercise.